got there? Black sea bass. <laughs> what did I tell you earlier? What? I don't want any fishy fish. Yeah. But then I said, I want black sea bass. <laughs> it's my own darn fault. <laughs> uh, we love the sea bass. Ew, don't hurt me. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Okay, okay, back off. <laughs> I'm gonna take another shower now. That's funny. No, that's not funny. Excellent. used to do this for a living. Well, 40 years ago, I watched the kid next to me stab him through his hand because he was trying to shuck an oyster like this. Ah. Right through. Because I just lost some meat right there. About to anyway. Like riding a bike, but not really. Yeah. If you don't do it all the time. It's made by the Dexter Company. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't gut this here fish. From what I recall, these were very smelly fish to fillet. There's one fillet. Now I'll do this. Forgive you. Oh, thank you. Cut it into the head there, around the gill. Start right in down at the bottom. Try to ride that bone. Yeah, and if I spend some time doing it, we could catch some of these bad boys. Mm. Something like that. Hey, through them. If you can see your way through them, it's pretty good. Right? Yeah. Not great, but good enough. Let's eat. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, fish are about done. Got some shrimp. Got some uh, herb cream sauce. You ready? Think so. <laughs> <laughs> it looks delicious. You're not full, are you? No. When we moved to this area, this was uh, the road to the beach, yep. and the, this was the uh, bridge right up here. Do you we remember? Rode, yep, we rode our bikes and the, walked all the time. This was the Surf City Bridge, yep, and one of the last days it was open, we uh, rode our bikes over it, right? Yep. And we have a video of that. right here this was all asphalt right yep now it's dirt now there's the new bridge mm. <clears throat> didn't seem like it was that long did it not really seems like a little short bridge things have changed and back then you could get one of these for around what 400 yeah. Now they're me. now they're about seven hundred. Yeah. It's crazy. I want one. And you have to pay POA or CAMS. Mm -hmm. But every one of them has a private dock and they've got a community boat ramp. So pretty. Yeah. I have to show you the best way that I have figured out so far to remove these uh, unwanted bits of brush and saplings that, uh, you know, just general overgrowth, and that is with a tamp bar. I told you this is my, one of my newest favorite tools, 
because it is so useful in so many ways. So what I do, rather than digging, doing a bunch of digging, I just put this down, drive it down by the root system, work my way around. Uh, depending on the size, it, it may only take a couple of couple of times, but some of these are way more rooted than others. Let's see, there you go. You just basically are loosening and loosening the soil and and lift and jerking the roots out with leverage. Just pure leverage. Just the the motion of driving this down in by the yeah, there's, wood, there's wood down here. I gotta excavate. Somebody put wood and bricks. You never know what you're gonna find on these old properties. And what I found here is very typical. It's just unkept. It's a cluster of weeds and trees, basically. See, that just loosens them up and they come right out. It saves me so much work. Can literally see that lift up with one one pull. This is a vine, so that would ordinarily be very difficult. I've nearly got this patch clean in just a couple of minutes. That's a nice piece of, that's a nice glass bowl. So look at this. Look how that, that just fits perfectly as a top to my, perfectly. I mean, you, you couldn't be much better than that. Put this on top here, and of course that's concrete, so it's not gonna blow away. Problem solved. things draw fruit flies. I like to have the doors open in spring. And these things right here, I don't like to pour too much wine in here because I like to drink the wine, but I've got soapy water and now I add a little wine. And this is, these are amazing. They're irresistible with these fruit flies. And I just keep them over here near the fruits and vegetables. And they just go in there and they die by the dozens. Now this is the toughest part of this flooring is cutting in this uh, drain. I'm going to slide this together first. I bought this small six pack of eggs. You see? So that when we get low, with these big 18 packs or 12 packs, I can transfer them and take up uh, less space in the fridge. A lot less space. I don't have to buy one of those fancy trays. Charlie, what? What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> Silly dog? Oh, wow, Charlie's got energy. Yes, he does. What is he on? You really get that it doesn't last forever, right? It's just a moment. It's a moment in time. Moments don't last, but yeah. there's always beauty around us. Yep. You just have to see it. Oh, geez. What's going on down here? Whoa. What's the theme to Sanford and Son? <laughs> hey, I'm a busy man. Uh, hey, don't look yeah. at that. That's disgusting. Yeah. Too much stuff. Okay, Papa. Oh, this is exciting. Let's see what's so exciting. Fresh walnuts. This is part of it. So, okay. What are we getting ready for? Bullet. Bullet smoker. I, I love this thing. 
theorioncooker.com. There, there, this goes here. Just several pieces. And then pow, you got this big beautiful smoker. So I'm getting this chicken ready. I'm gonna, I gotta put some rub on it and hang it with these hangers. All right, so I just need to hook these pieces of chicken like we did last week. Go. Just hang them here on this ring. I don't know if you can see that. You can't. Well, because it's yeah, too smoky. Just... <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, is my smoker too smoky? Two and a half, three hours later? Yep. You're all good. I'll wait three or four, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, I recently replaced my above range microwave and I did a video and I showed you how to uh, set up your exhaust fan, how to configure it for one of three scenarios up and out into the room, which comes out of here, and just vents into the room, uh, or back through up and through the ceiling, that's the second configuration, or through a port in the wall, which is what I've done. I've cut a hole in my wall and I wanted to, I switched the fan in this to blow through the back wall. I can show you how those three different configurations are accomplished. Now, you've got a double blower, with a motor in the center, right? So you're gonna just lift this up, and now <coughs> it can get tricky, so pay attention to what you're doing. Now, if you want it to blow up like that, I think what you need to do is let that wire go over the top. So, you see what I just did? get that back down in there and it's blowing up now right I just reconfigured it so this wire is going over the top all right now let's see how else we can do this now I'm going to turn it so that it blows forward okay all right and it just comes straight up out of there so there you see, you see there's three different configurations. Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is get it back so it's blowing out of here, but obviously I can't do that because of that wire harness. I need that wire harness to go over the top, so I'm going to spin it around like that, see? And then drop it down in. Does that make sense? It's very simple. Okay, now we are ready to... Put the cover back on. Starting some, uh, I'm going to start some seeds. And look at this, $4. I got this at one of the local dollar stores, Dollar General, what have you. But if I had bought this at Lowe's, it would be more like 40 bucks. Okay, maybe I exaggerate a little bit. I have been soaking these uh, seeds, these beet seeds, overnight in this wet towel. To help start the germinating process. Now look at farm girl's little tomatoes, huh? Beautiful. We have a delicious salad with organic tomatoes before long spring and I know a lot of you are getting hummingbird feeders ready to attract these beautiful little critters and some of you have questions which I do all the time and uh, I question the logic of, of buying this stuff I was doing <coughs> research I do this I go through this all the time with different products and I just wanted to get the real skinny on this nectar this is nectar right okay it's sugar and it's sugar for about uh, $2.89 for an eight ounce package, right? This is a crap that you buy. At, this is the stuff that you buy at Lowe's. I'm on a, I'm on a Lowe's anti-Lowe's kick recently. So, but anyway, so this is over $5. So almost $6 a pound, okay? Now, conversely, you can get sugar, sugar for about a dollar a pound. Look. Here's four pounds, three ninety nine. Four pounds, 
dollar a pound. Well, there's a reason they make these feeders red. Get yourself some attractive red feeders, and that's plenty to attract them. Look, you couldn't even see red fluid in there if you had it, it's because the glass is red. So you don't need to be putting anything harmful in these things to attract the birds, is what I'm saying. Well, I know that I have, I have not said enough about my carbon steel pan. I love this thing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Whoa, oh, did so you, I'm sorry, did you catch that? Mm. <laughs> this is the ultimate non-stick pan, which I, I, I talk about them all the time. But these are perfect. Look at Mm. Perfect non-stick. I'll have this. This will be a non-stick pan for the rest of my life. <laughs> how, many, how many Teflon pans do you throw away in, in a 10-year period? Okay. So here we, all right. See? No bread. No uh, wheat in this breakfast. Are you I, going... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I have... Uh, not been eating Whoa, wheat lately, and that's that's for you, my love. Wow. There's your little country breakfast. That is a big country breakfast. Oh, this and there's a, dinner. Oh, my goodness. Mm. This is smoked on the Orion bullet, and it is fantabulous. So good. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Mm. So we broke out the smoker again. Yes. And we smoked some chicken. And, and then we thought, what are we going to do with this delicious smoked chicken? <laughs> Besides just stand here and chow on it. <laughs> so we're going to have a salad dressing. No, I'm going to make you some bread with buttermilk. Oh, okay. With, uh, almond. I was wondering why you bought the buttermilk. Almond flour. Okay. So these <clears throat> are ready for whatever we want. Mm. Maybe uh, fried rice or... Fried rice? I don't know. Chicken fried rice with smoked chicken. Could you imagine? Mm. We mm. have cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's eat. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 